Uh, wine of the lineup? Yeah. Yeah, whatever this thing is. The Cabernet Franc from Outer Space. Yeah, I loved it. Noel's doing glass me. Like, it's great. Um... <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Another six wines, another six terrible opinions coming out of me. Uh, big thank you, as always, to Sometimes Always for hooking up with these tasty drops. If you want 10% off, you know what to do. We've got a link to our Discord down in the description of this video. You go down there, we've got a code. You can get 10% off each of these wines. Now, we ask a question each week on the show. Uh, the question I have for you, we're new on YouTube. We don't really know how it all works. What I want to know is, how did you get here? Like, how did you find these videos? Was it someone sending you a link? Did you find it through the Discover page? How'd you get here? Because then we're trying to get more people to watch. We're greedy like that. Um, but without further ado, let's hop straight in. One number one. Shall we begin? Uh, all right, this is a rosé sparking wine. Orange Gatorade with bubbles. Sometimes always coming through with the goods. Okay, um, uh, this tastes like a vapes coil, like when you've used all the juice in it and just kind of tastes like burnt plastic. This is what's going on here. Brilliant, brilliant, smashable, fun, vibrant. No, no two ways to like the, the actual sweetness and acid balance is on point. Giddy up, cowboys. Jeez! Oh man, I'm so into that. Oh fuck yeah, that's so good. Love this like blood orange kind of like mandarin like like citrus tang. Still gonna go with sparkling Pinot. Actually no, sparkling Shiraz. Uh, this is not sweet. Definitely something that I would just simply glug. I would spend 35 bucks a bottle of it and I'd buy 12. Strawberry things all there. It's a perfect example of like uh, Pinot Noir champagne style rosé or like rosé champagne. It is excellent. I reckon this is like a hundred bucks. It should be a hundred bucks. This is excellent. Now, wine number two. Red wine, but it does have that brown note going on in there, which makes me think instantly about one of the heavier grape varietals. And Italian. Smells Italian. I'm definitely going to say it's very, very good. This is amazing. Hell, Bruce Wayne. Green notes. Bang. I don't know. I don't know what president's on the hundred dollar bill in America, but whatever that president is. Bang! What to say about this? Yeah, look, if you're an older gentleman, you're probably not watching this video, so I can say what I want. Um, you'd love this. Uh, Everything is just on song and just in absolute prime condition. So I'll say it's 40 bucks. I'd say this is what I would say is like a medium to premier, uh, premium tier, or just a, maybe just sub premium tier uh, Nebbiolo. Yeah, very cool. Good, amazing smell, but amazingly well. Uh, Number three, nice cocktail wine. Nice kind of medium bodied red on the lighter spectrum. But definitely like ripe cherries as opposed to splintered barrels on the last one. It smells incredible. It smells like amazing Grenache. Really like, like nice and herbal, but nice kind of crunchy, savory tannin that's really delicious. But it's not as sort of bright and peaky as I would expect from a Pinot. There's a little bit of tannin in there. So yeah, for me, it's ticking all the Grenache boxes. It's a six, six bottles for me, I would say. And the tannin is pretty full on. So I think it's coming further south uh, from Burgundy. I'd probably roll it around about 55 bucks and I'd buy six. I'll get 12 bottles of because I think this is a good crew Beaujolais. And I'm happy to pay $75 for it. Not something that I'd need on hand all the time, but it's definitely a nice little midweek drinker. Wine number four. That's a really interesting color. That is apricot. I love that. That is like a pastel orange if I'd ever seen it. <laughs> Yeah, banging. Uh, pear juice, absolute pear juice, and I love it. Uh, another 12 for me. This is like such a playful, plush, beautiful style of rosé. Coats the mouth quite nicely. Apricot's definitely sitting in there on the palate as well, which is making me now lean more towards it being a skin contact white than a rosé. Close through, crunchy on the palate. A little, like, this gnashing pear is so incredibly pronounced in this. It's almost like I'm biting into one that's slightly underripe and a little bit powdery on the palate. Very cool. It's not supposed to be like the world's greatest wine. It's just supposed to be the most delicious thing you could drink right this second. And I think that could be. Um, chill it down, I think it's delicious. But it is one of those ones where I'm going to have to reach for the nine, which is not something that we do super often, but it's between... It's not a six, it's not six, but it's also not 12, so it's got to be nine. One number five, green highlighted, full coloured white wine. Weird call on the nose, but maybe semi-on. Maybe semi-on. Really rubbery. Bike tyre. Uh, absolute Clark rubber. Um, this is no good. This is no good. It, like This like rubbery thing has just attracted 
any kind of semblance of flavor from the actual wine. Really peaky lemon flavors, doesn't assault the palate. The acidity is well within control. It doesn't sort of burn on the way down. I like it quite a bit. Probably my pick so far. So do I go 12? I think I go 12. Yeah, I'll give it a dozen. I'd say this is Riesling. I'd say with a bit of age, possibly like 2016. Uh, and I would pay 28 bucks a bottle and I'd buy six. 15 bucks because yeah, I just I just don't want to spend too much money on a style of wine like this. It could be great, but unfortunately it's just so rubbery. Yeah, let's stick with Semion. <laughs> I do not know how to spell Semion. Wow, 38 bucks, but I think it's quite nice. So I'll go 42, no complaints, not a bad drop. Golden hue, brilliant, gorgeous. Let's see how we go. Yeah, it definitely smells like, it could be like Sauvignon Blanc on skins. Mm. Oh, cool. Really butterscotchy. Yeah, like butter menthols, uh, sort of this creamy sweetness going on in there, which I'm quite about. Uh, I'd like to drink it a fair bit colder than it currently is. Like mandarin peel, stuff like that, but it just lacks a little bit of vitality and freshness that makes it would makes this style of wine really, really appealing. Which would probably take away a little bit from the front palate, a little bit of farmyardy sort of flavour that's going on, but it's got this really lovely finish. It, sounds, it feels like it would be really good for a sore throat. Yeah, give me some of that. Mm. Yummy. Tastes like one of like Yalma's creations. Uh, very cool. Probably roll with around about thirty six dollars, and I want twelve. This is the style of, of orange wine that I do quite enjoy. So hundred percent, I would want to load up with this in my cellar. I think it's such a, a, an amazing example of the style. But maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see what the other guys think. Interesting lineup this week. How'd you guys go with it? Oh man, honestly, like this was this is what flying on a plane is like. Like literally jet set into the fucking moon and then slowly go in. It was a bit like that. It was definitely a bit like that. Number one. Cool. More bubbles. Cool. Fun. Woo. Easy. Like an easy 12 for me. Hell Like Emily. 35 bucks. This is what I wanted. Hell you know the Emmeline one that we had the other day? Yeah. 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 I agree. And I was kind of like not a fan of. Yeah. I and hated it. And they reached out as well. I'm so sorry on Instagram. Uh, it is what it is. They're blind. If I knew it was yours. Oh, did, contact, they? Yeah, did, yeah, they? Like, did they? Did they get a damn so like, so Reach bad. out to me. I'll be your fucking grand <laughs> ambassador. Why did they do this now? Did they really? Sometimes we say shit that hurts people's feelings and it's not intended. But that. I love that. Yeah, that is, that is what I wanted, but definitely I'd say 60 bucks and 12. Love it. Uh, 100 bucks, 12. Uh, one for 28. Oh, it's champagne. Brut it Rose no, from. No, it's Margaret, Margaret River. River. I have never seen this before. How cool. Oh, Push it's Bass Felix. Bass Felix. Holy fucking shit. Wow. Chardonnay Pinot. So, Mysterious Clone of Chardonnay Pinot. Yep, spot on. Well done. Um, This is epic. Disgorge April 22. So, like, that's, so impressive. Basically, that's impressive amount of complexity for a year on Lee's. Uh, and for something local, that punch is really high. That's a fucking great wine. One number two. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I wanted 12. There's no doubt. <laughs> um, but I don't think it's like as high as... I don't think it's as high as it promises. I think this is like a mid-tier Barolo. Okay. What's the price point we're at? Split the dip. Split the dip. Man, I'm bad at this. Barolo. I've never seen this. Barolo. Saralunga. Saralunga. Wow, so it's crew. Yep. Um, that's really 85 bucks for Cru Nebbiolo. It's fucking good value. It's a really good value. Um, yeah. Imported by a good friend, David Ridge. Ridgey! He brings in some incredibly good value stuff into Australia. Could be where, I mean, look, I do know Sarah Lunga's pretty clay based soil, and that would explain like the richness and the generosity. Mm. It would explain sort of the patchiness of the, the tannin as well. So it could just be um, the fact that it's Sarah Lunga. Um, you know, amazing. I've bogged a car many a time in Sarah Lunga <laughs> trying to get to work. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, not for the faint of heart. Makes sense why I don't like it. I yeah. am very faint of heart when it comes to <laughs> <laughs> Wine number three. Heaps I... into it. Really? Loved it. Yeah. Cru was... Beaujolais. You will need to sell it to me. You would need to sell it to me. I'm open. I, don't, I wanted six and I wanted to spend a decent amount. For. I wanted to spend 55 for it. I didn't spend more than that. But um, I, after these two, I really struggled to, to vibe that. Um, you don't want to hear what variety I thought it was what then. Do you say? What do you think? Grenache? Grenache? Yes. It I, certainly I, could I be. I thought it was Grenache too. I, it certainly I thought could Grenache couldn't have acidity. No, well, that, that's what, it's, it's left a field, and I was just kind of like not too sure what to make of it. Yeah, I was trying to make sense it. as well. Uh, definitely my pick of the first three wines. Uh, six, I thought we'd pay 36 bucks for it, and I just said I thought it was Grenache. Uh, I went Gamay, I went Cru Beaujolais, 75 bucks for 12. Four. Four. Four bucks. Un litro? Oh, wow. Fuck yeah. Lead that's a fucking really... 44 bucks yeah. a litre is pretty good. That's yeah. better than most fuel prices at the minute. Toscana Rosso. Rosso. So this is Sangiovese. Yeah. It's Grenache Sangiovese Carignan. Hey! It is Grenache. We found some Grenache! Yeah, yeah. Uh, always one of the greatest bottles on the market. So like, cool. Like, big, fat... Yeah. 
like green. Oh, so fucking sick. That's cool. That's fantastic. I've, I've always been a big fan of this one. I've been a big fan of because this is Elizabeth Foridori. So this yep. is Ampelia. This is her Tuscany project, of which, of course, in Tuscany, Grash is known as Alicante or Canon now. Um, so amazing expression of it. Um, and often is kind of regarded as, as this sort of Beaujolais-like style of wine out of the area. Really cool. <laughs> Speaking of things that I'm on, though, I really... I'm on this. This was my wine of liner. Wow! This was... Uh, I know, I know, I know. A bit weird. I thought this was just... I actually thought it was a Pinot Gris, like a Ramato style. I thought it was Pinot Gris! I thought it was Pinot Gris! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Uh, nine bottles, $28. Uh, 12 bottles, 45 38, magic number 12. Hey, there it is, magic number. And what have we got? What's the uh, so I mean, Bob and I, I'm pretty sure this is fucking uh, the Loire Valley. Been to France. Uh, <laughs> don't speak French, do we? No, 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 no it doesn't that. have variety on there. No, it doesn't. Unfortunately. Doesn't. Ported by Lo Fi. So it's uh, Piac, uh, Been to France. That's a cool, fun label. That, yeah. is, that is exactly what it needs to be. Um, Lime split. You're fucking kidding. What, what is it? Cab from. What? <laughs> That's like a Cab Franc Rosé! That is so cool. No, those leaves are quite pink. I love it. All Cabernet Franc should be made like that. Because 100%. that is better than any like full red, full skin kind of Cab Franc I've ever Tell had. Me about it. That is so good. <laughs> That's so sick. I think we're going to disagree on this next one. Uh, I, I was only up to six and only wanted to spend 28. I wasn't the biggest fan. I was a dozen 42. I was into it. Absolute Clark rubber. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it is, it is yeah, yeah. so full. Whoa. Like, burnout fucking. Someone's got their shitty 50cc scooter on your side street, <laughs> held down the brakes, and just gone, no, 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 That's what that fucking smells like. No I such did not like it. No such thing as a shitty 50cc scooter, first of all. Second of all, <laughs> what, what, what were your pics as Bridie? Uh, Who was, cares? Was Who cares? I went Riesling. Yeah. Yes. I thought I this one to be a bit quirky. An aged Riesling. Cool. Um, how much was it locked? Oh, oh my god, what's that? That is pricey. That is pricey. What do we got? Wow. Oh my god, it's Etna Bianco from fucking wow. Ibanieri. Wow. That's that volcanic shit. Oh wow, look. That's a volcanic shit. 2019, that's showing showing a lot of um, a lot of pre mocks, I reckon. Oh, it's been aged in chestnut wood, so oh. it might affect the flavor a little bit. It's which fun. Is really cool. So that that's really 100% Caracante. Car yeah, 100% wow. Caracante, um, which is a shame. I also think it might be corked as well. That a little bit. I think that's corked. It's the cork. It doesn't smell corky, but it, I think the cork has maybe fouled a little bit. It's a little bit pre moxy. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we've got some bottle variation here. Um, and finally, orange. Orange indeed. Um, yep. Honestly, the lack of acid here was a little bit disappointing. It would be hard going just to drink that. Like sit down with your yeah. feet up and you know watch some telly. That's gonna yeah. be really hard. Yeah, that's yeah. A challenge. Uh, six to five. I had in it as a Bebo, but 12 to 36. Good shout. Uh, yeah, so three, savvy. three for 32, diverged stamina. That's cheap. That's actually cheap. That's, That's pretty good, cheap. Pretty good. Dust oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is This is Sab Sem. Ah, cool. Awesome. There's S the S Sam. SSSB. There I believe so. Das Juice. Musket Arnais. What well on? You've got your first Musket camel rank. Musket yeah. Arnais, Sab yeah. Long Chardonnay. We were all right. Uh, for like sub 30. Sub 30. Oh, Mc shit. McLaren Bell, um, is that right, McLaren Bell? It all it is. Yep. Yeah, well. Wow. Probably from um oh yeah. so it's yeah, Musket from Zarella, yeah. Arnais from Peter's, Peter's Creek, Creek, Top yeah. Range, and then Magpie Springs from Chardonnay. Well that really does hammer home the acidity. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of it there. McLaren it's, Bell white wines aren't exactly well known, you know. Except for Fiano. Except for Fiano. Yeah, that that checks out. Um and yeah, look, it's delicious and it should be sub thirty for those varieties in that place. Um, made in a really good style. Uh, by uh, Lo-Fi. This is this is a Lo-Fi wines imports actual like own project. If you wanted to be a Instagrammer at like a pool party this summer, I think that's the wine you should take. If you want to work it at the Penfolds Marketing Department, so this is what you good. want to drink. It looks good. so good. It's very cool. Wax yeah. tips. It's Big got all fan. the ticks. Big fan. Uh, wine of the lineup. Yeah. Yeah, whatever this thing is, the Cabernet Franc from Outer Space. Yeah, Sorry, I love this. Noel's going to glass me if I disagree. <laughs> um, yeah, let's stick with that. Uh, cool, fantastic. Uh, we'll see you next week, guys. Until then, get your hands on some Piac. 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 Piac.